And long story short, the Duchess now lives in a happy home and neither of us were charged for breaking and entering. So all in all, I think it was a fine day's work. Nice work, you two. Hey. Todd, you could be a you could be a valuable asset to our team of volunteers, you know. If you ever feel like petting some puppies, hit me up. Mary, I always feel like petting puppies. Ah. Good to know. Well, I'll catch you fellows later. Mary starts to leave. And one last thing. Ah. Damien's been telling me about you. Glad he finally brought you around. Oh, yeah. Come on. Damien's my special boy. I love him. We go way back and I love a vested interest in his health, success, and well-being. If you ever hurt him. Oh. Mary! Oh. You can fill in the blanks. I gulp. Yes, ma'am. Mary leaves me alone with Damien. So, about the whole goth thing. I, um, completely understand if you aren't interested in me anymore. Since Aww. I'm a normie. What? Am I missing something here? I'm not a cool goth prince. I'm boring. I own five pairs of tennis shoes. I wear dumb glasses. Don't you care? He looks so nervous. Damien, do you really think I only like you because of all the goth stuff? That's all cool, but the best thing about you is how passionate you are about the things you love. History, art, Victorian fashion, dogs, storage solutions. It doesn't matter what it is. You care, and that's awesome. And also, the glasses are very cute. You don't think I'm boring at all? If you're boring, then I don't know what that makes me. I spend too much time online shopping for flashlights. I get excited to mow my lawn on Saturdays. I get cranky about commercials being too loud. I've even been thinking about making my own peanut butter. Huh. Then maybe we can be boring together? Ah! It would never be boring if it was with you. Damien suddenly closes the gap between us and pulls me into a hug. He buries his face in my shoulder. His hair smells like lavender and rosemary. I was so scared you wouldn't like me. Quite the opposite. Damien pulls away for a second and looks me in the eyes. Without the colored contacts, his eyes are so dark and soulful. Uh -huh. May I kiss you? Thou art welcome? Thou art welcome? Verily, you may take <laughs> you may take upon yourself the You know what? Just kiss me. He smiles slightly and leans in, giving me a gentle kiss. Damien pulls away and gives me an intense look. Hmm. Do you want to help me take care of the puppies? Yes. <laughs> Aww. Damien and I arrive back at the cul-de-sac, our fingers intertwined. Like a proper gentleman, he walks me to my doorstep. <laughs> this was lovely. Thank you for understanding. Thank you for everything. I'm very happy I can be myself around you. I'm glad, but I have one request. Huh. What's that? Can we keep sending each other letters? Hmm. But of course. Damien kisses me one last time before turning around and heading home. Amanda runs back to the couch from the window and tries to look as nonchalant as possible. Hello, Father. I was sitting here on the couch this entire time. Hi, Amanda. So, are you guys, like, starting a vampire coven together? Um, that would be the coolest. Oh, plot twist. Mothman. Damien's actually Mothman. I didn't see it coming either. Genius. Well, whatever's happening, I'm really glad you two are happy. You deserve it, Dad. Aw, shucks. I'm gonna head to bed. Catch you in the morning? Ah. Sure thing. I make my way to my room and fall into my bed with my heart full, excited for the days to come. Always try to make others around you happy. Death anxiety. <laughs> Darkness. I'm sensing a romance between us. A chemical romance. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Phew, I think I have everything finally set up. Amanda should be here any minute now. I think
think that's her car in the driveway. Okay, gotta act natural. Be cool, Todd. Be cool. Amina walks through the door with a suspicious look on her face. Hey, Dad. Off to a good start. Hmm. Something fishy? Rats. Sorry, sweetie. It's the feds. That life of crime is finally catching up to you. I tried to send him in a different direction, but even I'm no match for the power and funding of the U.S. government. Aww. Well, if they think they're gonna take me alive, they got another thing coming. I'm kidding. You're right. I have a little surprise for you. Ugh. Yeah, I can tell you're very bad at lying. <laughs> Amanda, my dear, would you care to join me in the kitchen? Hey. Father, it'd be f it would f it would be filled. It would be fill my heart with glee. There are a couple typos in this. Oh. I lead Amanda over to the kitchen table where a present lies covered under a tablecloth. It's nothing special, but I wanted to get you a little something. You graduated high school last week, and I know you told me not to make a big deal about it, but... Oh, Dad, you... I dramatically whip the cloth off the table. Amanda's jaw drops. All right. No way! I figure you probably won't be able to get cable in the dorm, so I thought it might be nice to take a piece of home with you. A DVD- oh. A DVD box and a long-haul paranormal ice road truckers! This is all 19 seasons! Oh my god. And bonus material, including commentary with actual ghosts featured on the show. <laughs> ah. Dad, I love this. Thank you. <laughs> she gives me a big hug. I'm glad you like it. Hey, you want to hang out with me in the backyard for a bit? Toss the old pigskin or something? Ah. Tele. Are you grabbing EG because he's cute? I follow Amanda to the back door. Hey. Oh. oh. Dad, Dad why'd you bring all your gay boyfriends to my party? <laughs> You told me not to make a big deal, but you seem to have forgotten that my entire mission in life is to make a big deal out of your accomplishments. And then make them all about me, mm -hmm. because all of my gay dad friends are here. So consider this your graduation party. With no one your age. Well, I'm sure all their kids are here. Surprise! Dad, everyone's here. Well, yeah, everyone wanted to come and support you. All right. Is that a mac and cheese bar? Sure is. Fully customizable down to the type of Mac. And there's an ice cream cake. The good kind with the crunchies in the middle. <gasps> that is the good kind. Hey. I've never had ice cream cake. I I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. Just go have fun with your pals, alright? I'm so proud of you, Amanda. Amanda smiles and runs to her friends. I should make the rounds and make sure everyone's having a good time. But first, mac and cheese. Todd, my dude. Pablo, how's the shirt business going? My bud, I got men's shirts, I got women's shirts, I got tank tops in a variety of sizes, shapes, and colors. Each one of them, fine, fine quality. Screen printed with the logo and visage of world-renowned witch house outfit, Vacant Vale. Purchasable, purchasable at most respectable retailers. But more specifically, out of the trunk of my car. Also, I'm also selling my mom's world-famous homemade apple butter. Never stop hustling, Pablo. Baby, you got it. I walk over to Mary, who's having a lively conversation with Amanda. We have a really fluffy sam samoyed right now. What is that? I think that's a dog. His name is Harold Loves Belly Rubs. He always t tries to lick your face if you, try if you get too close. Huh. This is Chris Jansen. Thank you so much for telling me in great detail about every single dog currently at the animal shelter. Please, tell me more about the Afghan with three legs again. Oh? Uh? Sure, Quadra, we call him. It's one of those ironic nicknames. You know, if you're really interested, I could probably steal one, of, one for you. Really? Nah, but I could get you in to meet all of them then. All of them? We could always use extra hands down at the shelter. Hmm. Well, now that our daughter's leaving, we can get a dog. And if those extra hands also happen to steal a dog? I'm glad you two are able to bond over cute dogs. Really warms my heart. Dad, we're having a moment. Hey. Hey, sailor. Your kid's got kid's a good egg. 
Where's your goth prince? You two usually attach at the hip these days. He's, uh, he's around. Stellar. Mary turns her attention to Amanda. Mm. It's not too hard to sneak a dog into college. Trust me, I did plenty back in the day. At one point, I had three cats living in my dorm. <laughs> I decide to leave them to it. All of a sudden, a huge dog leaps up into my arms. Duchess! Hugo and Ernest run up to me. The Duchess gives my face a few broad licks and hops down. Hmm. We're working on that. Got her in a disciplinary class. She's a wild spirit who runs where, where she may. I don't mind at all. Ha! <laughs> Looks like the three of you are getting along nicely. Hey! She's a valuable addition to the clan. If I hold up my homework in front of her, she'll eat it. Cool! <sighs> we'll deal with that later. Duchess Cordelia spots a squirrel and darts across the yard. Ernest follows her laughing. He's actually been a lot more manageable lately. I think taking care of the dog is good for him. Thanks for baking into my house, I guess. Anytime. Todd! Brian, you made it. Ha, I don't pass up on good Mac. You know what I just realized? Mm. We did not go on Brian's second date before we went on our first third date. That's fine. Okay, I'm just saying. What do you think of the party? <laughs> it's not bad. Just not bad? Yeah, it's not bad. Don't let him bait you. Don't let him bait you. Thank you for the lovely compliment. Daisy trots up. Hi, Amanda's dad. Hey, Brian's daughter. See? See how that feels? This is a really great party. Thank you so much for inviting us. You're very welcome, tiny child who knows how to pay a compliment. Ooh, shh. Brian and I lock eyes. This isn't over. Hey, bro. Bro. This is a real rager. Taking out our older age. Take Taking our older age into consideration. I'm trying to be in bed at a reasonable hour tonight. Don't don't let me get too wild. Hey. Don't worry, dude. I'll keep an eye on for your on you on your fruit. Blah. You know, I'm really glad we're both we're bros again. Let's hit the gym sometime soon, huh? Sure thing, dude. Briar and Hazel peek out behind Craig. Hi, little ones. Hello. Hiya. Thank you for all that ice cream cake. <clears throat> Wait, girls, how much did that of that did you eat? Briar ate four pieces. Ask any wetness. No, I didn't! Azel ate four pieces and wants to pin it on me because we look alike! I have your face. Nobody will ever believe you. <sighs> oh, boy. I'll let you guys figure this out. Good seeing you, Craig. Let's hang out soon, huh? Hey! Yeah, totally! Tell him, man, a congratulations for us. Looks like you've settled into this neighborhood quite nicely. Yep, couldn't ask for a better cul-de-sac. Well, I'm glad. Hopefully we'll see you at more church events. We've got a big schedule planned for the rest of the year. And I'm sure the kids would love to see your dance moves again. Yes, sure thing, Joseph. And maybe if you aren't doing anything later, we could hang out sometime. Sure, Joseph, that'd be great. Well, see you later. Hugo comes up to me with a plate of mac and cheese. Ah! The perfect cheddar to mac ratio. Beautiful work, Todd. Thanks, Hugo. I learned from the best. Got a pocket full of gift cards that say you already knew a thing or two. Let's get together for trivia night again sometime soon, huh? You know it. You know, I'm really pleased to see Amanda going to her dream school. I'm glad she turned it around for finals. Me too. That scholarship money will really help. Amanda walks by and pretend, <laughs> pretends not to see you go. That was awesome. That was so fast. I was like, is that a glitch? Nope. Nope, not a glitch. It's just teenagers avoiding their teacher. <laughs> Amanda, come say hi to your old teacher. Oh. Hey. <laughs> Congratulations on graduating. I know you're not gonna do you're gonna do great things at art school. Fuck you! Haha, <laughs> yeah, thanks. Hey. Amanda starts to back away. Wait, I just realized that you're not my teacher anymore, so I don't have to be afraid to talk to you. You no longer hold power over me! Oh. You're right. Go forth, adult. I can no longer give you detention. Yeah, I'm gonna break anything I want, and there's nothing you can do about it! Are you still mad about that time I gave you detention for breaking my globe? Hey. Mm. 
Nope. Ah! Now I'll have you know that globe didn't even fit through the basketball hoop in that first place. In the first place. So she'll fit into college just fine. Hey. Hey. Mm. Robert gestures vaguely to the snack table. Good stuff. <laughs> yep. See you later. Hey, uh... hey man. Matt! Let me know when Amanda leaves for college. I'll have a fresh batch of grateful banana bread ready for her. Thank you. I know she'll love that. Hey, Matt. Don't wait. Hey, Amanda's down. I turned to spot Lucian walking up to me. Yes, Lucian? Thanks for inviting me to your party. Anytime, bud. I know we had a rocky start, but I'm glad to know you. I hope you know how much your dad cares about you. Um, yeah. Oh, um, yeah. My dad's had a rough couple of years, and I know that it must not have been easy to raise me alone. He's kind of a weird guy, but I love him a lot. And it seems like you make him happy, so you're cool in my book. Thank you, Lucian. That means a lot to me. Sure. And let me know if you want, to, want me to give you a stick and poke sometimes. What? I don't know. Oh! It's a, a tattoo. It's a. It's oh, a, okay. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, the 666. Ta uh, thanks for coming by, Lucian. See you around, Todd. As the party starts to wind down, I take a seat on our back porch step. The sun is setting, and everyone seems to have eaten their fill. Amanda wanders over and sits down next to me. Tell her party, Pops. What can I say? I was inspired. So. I, uh. I also have something nice for you. <laughs> for me? Why? Not to be completely genuine about my feelings for once or anything, but... Huh. Growing up wasn't easy, but it could have been a lot harder if it wasn't for you. Dad, you've been there for me through everything. There's... There's been times in my life when you were my only friend. Huh? I was really scared of going to college and being so far away from you, but I realized that everything you've done for me has been to prepare me for this, and I'm ready. I wouldn't be who I am today without you. Don't cry. Don't cry. I swear to God, Todd, if you cry again... You're the best, Dad. I love you. And I'm crying. Yeah. Anyway, that was enough emotionally vulnerability for one day. <laughs> Present time! Amanda hands me a tiny wrapped package. I tear the wrapping off to find... a framed picture of me and Amanda. It's us. Ooh. Kind of shocking that all of our photo albums are just pictures of me, huh? I figured we needed at least one together before I leave. Amanda, thank you. Watching you grow up has been the happiest experience of my life. You're such a talented, intelligent young woman, and I'm so excited to see what the future holds for you. Knock him dead, kid. He always do. <laughs> Amanda and I share a hug. This is only the beginning, Pops. Plenty more memories for us down the road. Memories to make and stuff to break, right? Aww. Oh, I'm gonna break so much stuff. Intentionally and unintentionally. Probably gonna have to pay for most of it. It would be my honor. Hell, you know I've started some fires in my day. Amanda hops oh. up. Looks like someone's been watching, t wanting to talk to you. I glance over to the back of the yard where Damien is sitting on a bench beneath our cherry blossom tree. He smiles at me. I'll leave you to it. Me and Aunt and the Emmas are gonna go out and get ice cream. Uh, okay? The Emmas? Love you, Pops. That was never okay. Amanda runs off to join her friends. Well, I mean... Maybe I, they made up. I feel like it's entirely possible that it was like a drama thing for like a month and then it was over. You know how it goes, right? Nope. Never have forgotten. C and A. Never forget. Never forget what C and A did. Never. I take a seat next to Damien as the last guests make their way out of the party. Oh. Did you know that in Victorian era, they would call benches CD boys? What? Victorians were all fucking dorks, okay? Are you sure that's not him put him pulling our leg? What? Really? Oh. I'm kidding, Todd. But what if? <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see you in your civvies again. Thank you. I had a revelation the other day, Todd, and I think it was largely due to your continued influence upon me. There was a version of myself that might have been embarrassed to show you my true form. Okay. 
my information technology form. <laughs> <laughs> but what you said about me, about how my passion was what you truly admired, that emboldened me to feel like myself regardless of how I choose to dress and act. Mm. Instead of separate as entities, they are simply different facets of myself. A three-dimensional human being with his own thoughts, wants, and needs. I love dressing the, the, the way I, that I do, but feeling constricted by what I thought was my own personal brand made me lose sight of why I did this in the first place. To make myself happy. I place my hand on Damien's and feel a light squeeze. Looking up, I'm greeted by Damien's warm smile. Hmm. I'm trying to be more comfortable with who I am, rather than dwelling on who I could be to the other people. I can't stop smiling. I'm so proud of him. Damien, I'm so happy you've realized that you can be a dog-loving goth. Me too, Todd. Me too. I feel myself inching closer and closer to Damien. I go to brush a lock of hair out of his face and am shocked at how soft it is. How is your hair so soft? <laughs> Dog shampoo. I keep running my hands through his hair as he leans closer to me, placing a hand on the side of my face. He strokes my cheek with his thumb. You know, public displays of affection were considered scandalous in the Victorian era. Damien pulls me in for a kiss. Hmm. But I think I can make an exception for you. This is fucking cute. Nice. Tyler J. Hutchinson. Dream daddy. Who's gonna be your dream? God, that's why we're both just sitting here like yep. I know just like, just like I realized we're just sitting there like basking in how nice, nice of an experience was. that was um yeah and you know what it felt so nice to play a game where you weren't constantly waiting for like Okay, so who who was your favorite dad? I know that we haven't done the third dates with all of them yet, though, so... I like Matt, I like Damien, and I like, um... Let me think about the dads again. So you've got Joseph. No. Robert. Yes. Yeah. Um... Brian. Damien. Hugo. are probably Robert, Damien, and Craig. Yeah, that's because you love working. 